Hello, here we want to present you a sample of uh, battery pack analysis for electric vehicle coming from the cell perspective. So how to design a cell based on the electric vehicle characteristics to better fit uh, the overall parameters of the vehicle. So here we have a magic grid method based uh, SysML project. As you can see, we start from stakeholder needs and we transition to the component requirements. And in our case, it will be cell uh, characteristics. And uh, in this project, we are delivering uh, parametric analysis as a core for the cell characteristics checking in the context of the battery in total. So here you can see stakeholder needs. They transition with the traceability to the system requirements and component requirements. And uh, here we see vehicle architecture. And we see the vehicle architecture has configurations. Those configurations of the vehicle are specific for different vehicle platforms. And here we have the battery pack architecture and here we have uh, para parts of the pack uh, one part of that and characteristics and, and as you can see here those characteristics are the requirements like limitations right main capacity uh, battery pack mass uh, serial connection of the battery modules uh, max voltage of the battery pack then we are transitioning to battery module and the battery module again has its own parameters so like a uh, parallel connection of series, uh, battery module mass, uh, and then we transition and again it has its own parts and part of that is also cell. And cell has its own characteristics like cell max voltage uh, shall not uh, be greater than 4 volts for example, max cell capacity. And uh, uh, then we do analysis and for the analysis we can uh, perform uh, some of the analysis directly in the model. In SysML model, that would be the value not to transfer data and just do the parametric analysis directly here. Some more advanced analysis, we need uh, dedicated uh, packages like uh, the Mola for the with the battery uh, libraries, battery analysis libraries. Here we see this uh, actually even reference. Uh, based on that reference, we can find uh, the specific battery pack architecture. This is, as you can see here, with all the characteristics. This is type of the cells. And then uh, here we have uh, a module. We have uh, this module is in the pack. Here we have the cell module and the pack of the battery. In the pack of the battery there are multiple modules and the module consists of the parallel and batteries in series uh, cells in series and parallel and here we have a cell in this case cell is of that uh, characteristic so you can see this number is uh, pretty much uh, based on the size of the battery see this is the first part and this is the second part of the cell and this is the cell, uh, I think from Panasonic, uh, used, here we have it, used for Model S and Model X, uh, at that specific uh, year. And uh, here we see more characteristics. Those characteristics we can put into the parametric analysis. And uh, here we see, first of all, battery module. When we have cell, we can input uh, cell voltage which we selected uh, and then here we have uh, battery mo mod uh, voltage uh, what is required and then we get number of cells in series in that uh, in that module then we transition to the parametric analysis in battery pack and here we get results uh, those uh, number of cells in series you see and then we take number of cells in parallel we input here and then we get number of cells in module here number of cells in module goes to the total result of this uh, battery pack mass 
but that also inputs other characteristics say for example cell mass cell mass right and also number of modules and that gets calculated as a, also a result of this number of modules gets calculated as result of battery pack voltage and uh, battery module voltage those are inputs and uh, also here we have a number of series in parallel also gets calculated uh, based on the capacity of the cell and uh, the uh, battery pack voltage and battery pack capacity so we can input those and as you can see here as a best practice we used uh, color coding for the constraint uh, block uh, constraint uh, parts uh, uh, parameters in order to you see here uh, identify by different color what will be the output preferable output it could be like uh, not necessarily one way solving capability but uh, if we have just solving so we want to identify what are the inputs what are the outputs and then we go to the instance table we go back here instance table and we can input specific configuration based on the structure and uh, characteristics of the cells and parameters and then get results and those results can be as you can see here automatically validated by the verified by the requirements uh, and you saw quite a lot of requirements so here we can create new configuration name that configuration like specific module model it, it input the battery pack capacity requirements input battery pack voltage let's say we'll leave the default one then uh, we can input uh, battery module voltage let's say 25 volts and then we can input battery model cell mass let's say what would be the cell mass 40 grams and then let's input the voltage of the cell 3 dot uh, let's say 4.1 okay so uh, as I remember it should fail based on requirements but let's leave it for now and then we can run just this selected line and you get results you see here I see the voltage of the cell failed there is requirement to be less than four but I get all the other characteristics and I can see the total mass battery pack mass can change this one to satisfy requirement four and then run the configuration now this one is correct and I see other characteristics and now the requirement uh, uh, based on the those inputs we see that all requirements are satisfied and we get uh, also the battery pack mass so this uh, can be one enough analysis for more advanced analysis may use again uh, dedicated uh, uh, tools like the MOLA with the battery pack libraries and uh, the sample will be used actually in the upcoming MBSC symposium uh, dedicated uh, tutorial connecting system architecture with the design and analysis and in that uh, tutorial will cover besides this part will cover also full thread starting from system architecture going to the cells uh, and pack design and this will go through the actual collaboration in the project management in the agile method with kanban boards as you can see here with tasks assigned then we'll go to the traceability when we identify what are the trace between uh, parts of the system vehicle pack but also design and uh, analysis here and here we see the visually based on the traceability what are the thread digital thread is uh, look for looking and how we can transition from the here system architecture selected part to up to the you know a battery pack and then cell which is affected by that requirement specifically or characteristic in system architecture and also uh, we'll go through the 
alternative architecture modeling and simulation and this simulation will uh, be more advanced will uh, calculate uh, battery max temperature when we are charging and charging time based on the selected architecture characteristics of the cell and battery and then we identify okay based on those characteristics we will run the analysis and that's our requirements uh, satisfied or not and which uh, which configuration is the best and here we see that we are using uh, will use and we are using integrated uh, Dimola with the battery model, battery simulation model. And that gives us the results of the an analysis to identify the optimal characteristic, uh, optimal architecture for selected electric vehicle. This will be digital uh, engineering uh, system architecture design and analysis tutorial full day and uh, looking forward to see you there please save your spot as the limitation will be 15 seats only to access all the tools and environment